Alrighty, guys, Mavericks Adventures here, and today I'm going to be working on something I haven't done, well, I've never done a video on this before, so, yeah, we got something new at the house now, and um, I think I'm going to start a series about them too, it is a them, a couple of them, so, yeah, if you want to see more videos like these types of videos, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, like button, all that. But this is what we have at the house now. I don't know if y'all can see that little yellow blob over there. But we have got ducklings. And I wanted to clean out their pen today. Yeah, we have some baby ducks. Dang it. My dang tripod's messing up for some reason. I extended the legs and didn't think about doing the intro until the last second. So. Yeah, we have some baby ducks right here. We got four of them. One of them is mine, one of them is my house, one of them is Caitlin's, and one of them is Max's. Okay, then in this thing right here, I know there's some wires and stuff up here. I ain't really messed with it. Well, I have messed with them, but I have not uh, done any of the cable management. I gotta do that. But, I don't know if you can hear that chirping. I'm still trying to fix the tripod. But, in this little box right here, we have some baby ducks. I mean baby chickens. <laughs> I don't know why I said ducks. But we have some baby chickens in here. We're going to be working on cleaning out their pen. The chicken's pen. I'm not, I cl haven't cleaned theirs out yet. Um, it's really not too dirty. But it is. does need to be changed about at least, at least a week. Is what we normally change it at. But uh, it's not too bad. The ducks I've already changed. Then I thought about recording it. And starting a new series of working on the ducks house and everything and working on the chickens and because we do have chi full grown chickens that guy over there we have seven of them i think no eight we have uh three hen roosters and we have uh five hens so we have eight in total and then we have seven quail so yeah let's start working on these guys pen i want to bring in their a uh we built a little house for them to put the light down in I'm going to bring that in because I already got it all cleaned up. I want to get pine straw, bring it in here and everything. And one thing I do recommend if y'all guys have chickens or are planning on getting chickens slash ducks. If you have a, if you live on a good piece of property like we do and have a tree and they, well pine trees and drop pine straw or stuff like that. I do recommend y'all collecting that up because of a. You can put it in this trash can like I have. We do this when we have chickens. Uh, fill the trash can full because it has rained this morning and it is wet all out there. All that's wet. The ground's wet. That's why it's mostly wet out here. But uh, yeah, I do recommend y'all doing that if you do have trees where you can get it. If not, you can just use bedding. I've seen a lot of people use like dog bedding and stuff like that. That's something you could use. But I use pine straw. That's something better, to my opinion, to use. Oh. All right. I know this ain't nothing pretty, but it is something for them to live in. So. Make sure I had to put some more dirt in here because it was not completely level. But uh, this is their little house that's made out of OSB, two by fours, and a sheet metal so we could close the flat down in the morning. This piece of tin I just cut in half and put it right there so we can close it down at nighttime. What we planned on doing was close it at nighttime, but they're going there by themselves. They weren't not going in there, so I put that on there, and then all of a sudden they started going in there. We had to manually put them in there, but anyway. Now, for this part. Uh, my trash can is not going to fit in here. So, let me just grab a handful and put it in here. What you want to do, in case you have never had chickens before, what you want to do is put a fine layer on the bottom. Not a super thin layer, but you do want to put a layer on the bottom all the way around. This is way too much, 
But I need something to put in the chicken pan too, so I probably got enough for that. You don't want to put too much because you are going to have to change it about every week. So, yeah, you don't want to put too much down and you don't want to put too little because it's too little to be touching the ground and they'll be cold. So, what you want to do is put a good layer where you just about where you cannot see the dirt. If you can see the dirt, you probably want to put some more down. That's how I go about it. All right, let's see. Right here, right there. See right here, the dirt is about about a good inch or so, maybe a punch off. You can do a little less or a little more. Bedding, I don't know. I've never had, but never used bedding. I've always used pine straw, so I'm not too sure about how you work with that. But that's how you do that. Second thing up is what is second thing up? Oh, second thing up is their little hatch for the top. I made this so you can take. You don't have to pick up. I tuned this. So it's just removable. It fits in perfectly. It's just removable. A hole for their light to go in, so they have light. I was gonna put it at the back, but I put it in the middle so it heat up the whole thing. They wouldn't just have to sit down in the back if they want to go out. As you can see, they're walking around. When I came out this morning, they were already out walking around, doing what they wanted to do. But uh, I done this so you can put the water and stuff in there without picking it all up, and knocking everything down. It's just so hard to do that. We've done it in the past, and it is super hard to do. Yeah, so it's just easier to have a removable hatch. Speaking of water, let's go get their water real quick. And yeah, I'll show you how we get. Well, I'm gonna bring the. You should know how to get water. I mean, yeah. So I'm gonna get the water, bring it in here, and get the food, and bring it in here, and we'll start from there. All right, we are back. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes now. Okay, but uh, we're back finally. Had to fill up this dang big water for ducks because ducks love water. If you did not know that, ducks really do love water. Got the feeder. I just put it randomly in here. Uh, the water though, you have to put the spout. If this is your first time doing chickens, if you're a veteran of chickens, you know this. But if it's your first time doing chickens, right here is the spout, okay? You're going to want to face this downhill so when the water comes out, if it's the same level, no more water will come out. If you put it uphill, this will just keep on spewing that water and water, you'll basically just lose all that water you just filled up. You have to go do it again. I learned that the hard way a couple times. and But yeah, now I know. This is common logic, but I thought I might take it. Now right now, this is it's kind of hard to figure it out. But what you do is you just take and take some time and look at it. And if it just... If it just, um, if the water starts pulling up on one side, you know, point the, part, point the spout in that side. Whatever side fills up the fastest is where you want to point the spout, so it will end it quickly. So right now, it looks like it's going back to the back corner. So I just turn this right around, and it has stopped letting out water. I do believe. Let me just check. Yep, it has stopped putting out water. Uh, I do not like where that's at though, because the ducks really can't get a hold of it. Let's try putting it right there. Okay, that seems a lot better. You do not want to put your food in your. This is actually my first time doing ducks, but it is a bird I've managed with quail and chickens, and I've heard quail is one of the hardest things to mess with, and I've managed with those, so I think I can do ducks. Um, you do not want to put the water and the food beside each other. Because that just makes that water, that food nasty, and you basically have to throw it all away. Um, yeah, but I got a feeder, feeds them. You don't have to crunch normally with smaller animals and birds. You have to crunch up the food. But thankfully, the ducks are not small, are big enough. They don't need to have the food crunched up, and neither are the chickens. Uh, I do have crunched up food for them, but they do not need it. They can't eat bigger food. I forgot I had to crunch up the crunched up food, though, actually. So, let me grab the ducks real quick. Come here, guys. There y'all go. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. It's okay. It's okay, guys. And they do not like being by themselves, as you can hear him hollering. They do not like being by themselves. I will get him in one second. God. And then I'll take the light, put it down here, just like that. 
Yeah, and the button. I made a hole a little bit bigger, but that's something to do another day. It's okay, little fella. Get a little bit of close up on him. Say the camera, hey. There they go. Now they're all in there. They're all fine. All fed, all watered up for today. I'll come back out here tonight and check on them. I'll bring y'all out here with me when I do that. Now it's on to the chickens. The chickens are actually going to be a little bit harder to do. One, because of... Uh, actually, there's one more thing I have to do for ducks. So I'll do that near the end. There's the chickens are. There's one hard thing to do with them. First off, this flap is in my way. This is an old blanket we had to keep in the heat because it was not hot enough in here for the birds and it was all cold and bundled up. This is what they are, okay? The only bad thing about this is I have the ducks and chickens do not mix. They do, but the ducks are bigger than the chickens and they'll kind of pick on them. So we can't put them together. So what I'm going to have to do is take them, put them in the, uh, the box they came in, and then put them in there with the uh, put them in there with the ducks, or just put them out here, clean out the pan real quick, throw the pine straw in there, then put them back in there, and I'll put the water and stuff while they're in there. That's what we're gonna do right now. This is gonna be a quick little thing I have to do, but I can get it. Woo. It's a big human outside because it just rained. Uh, there it is. Boy. All right, here's, I got their box now. So, they're probably gonna run away from me. And if you got a pin this long, you're gonna have to reach in there and pass all this crap and stuff. So, I don't you'll not have a good shirt on and prepare to take a shower when you go back in the house. If you, this is the beginning, if this is your first time, you can just prepare for it. Cause, uh, I mean, I've kind of learned how to do it. I mean, my shirt will still get a little bit of bird poop on, but, it's something you have to deal with. I hate to say it like that, but it's something you'll have to learn to deal with with, uh, with baby birds. Let me turn off that light real quick because I have a little bit of a hot light. Okay. I don't even know if y'all can see it now. Seeing the pen, sort of. It is sunlight outside, so. the heck? It's okay, little fella. Gosh, mighty day. It's okay. I normally have a cat carrying case, but the cats are using it right now, so we cannot have it. But what we have for chickens is we have two, three Rhode Island Reds. We have one Bear Rock. Which is this guy. We got one buried rock, which is mine, because I love a buried rock. They are a great chicken. Uh, Rhode Island Reds are also great chickens. I'll show you the way. Okay. Here's the Rhode Island Red. Right there. Pretty, pretty chicken. Dang it, my door keeps on hitting me. Okay. Little fella, he got up again. Great. It's okay, little fella. Are you gonna make me chase you? Oh, you little freaking. There, he's down there. Okay. If you no, okay, okay, got the little fella. Here he is, pretty little chicken. He has the little, he has feathers on his feet. He's that type of chicken. Do not remember the name, but that is what he is.
Amber with the, the cat carrying case back from the... The, uh... Cat thing. Because they have took that dang thing over. They're actually laying it down in the barn. Somehow they got in the way to open up the fucking freaking door. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I am freaking exhausted right now. Well, I'm kind of here breathing. All right. So, for this part, all you've got to do, if you've got a pen like mine, it is very easy to accomplish. You open the door, close the hatch like this, either way, take a shovel if you have one or a rake. Wait one second. But if you have a rake, that would be good too. But the only thing is, I have wire on the bottom of my pen, so a uh, rake will get caught up in that wire and tear a hole in it and then chickens will fall out. So I do not do that. But you take it and if you have a flat nose shovel, it's even better. Just take it and rake it on out. Don't want none of it landing in my shoe. There we go. Then he is taking slowly out it. I'm gonna have to take something to hold that door back. I'm gonna put a rope or something on it. Well, that's basically what you do. All you need to do is really and truly take off the top wire and then look in there, see if there's any poop on any of the rest of it. And if there is poop or water or food or something like that, and just do like this, then whip it right. And then if you can't get with a shovel, you could do it with your hands or you have a smaller shovel. I do it with my hands because when I'm out here chicken, you do not want to touch your face because it's salmonella. But, uh, yeah. That is something to keep in mind. Not touch your face, your mouth, your ears. Uh, yeah. Something you have to keep in mind. Then do the same as the duck's pen. Put straw in here. Put straw, bedding, whatever you really want to. If you have baby, baby birds, way smaller birds. Mine are about as big as my hand. My hand's kind of, it's kind of hard to show on the camera, but I mean, I don't know. But, uh, really, truly, you would, uh, if you have baby birds, you might want to trim it. No, that's quail. Never mind. Sorry. Baby quail, you have to trim the, uh, Cut up the pine straw for some reason. I don't remember exactly why. I got to look, I got to look back on our notes. We made notes and everything about everything. But, uh, yeah, so you have to do that for the quail for some reason. Still don't remember why. I'm trying to think. Might have to go get some more pine straw at the trash can. But, that's, yeah, I need a little bit more. Okay. Now shake it right out if you got pine straw. The easy way to do it. Okay. Um, yeah, but I do the flap though because of you might want to let out some heat because sometimes it will get overheated and you adjust the flap by the heat that you're bringing in and everything. That's the easiest way to do it. Now we got all the pine straw sitting there. You can still see a little bit through the wire, but then when they walk in there, they'll compact it down and everything. And I'll come back out here and see if they still need some more. If they do, I'll just throw some in there and shake it out while they're in there. Don't need to take them out or nothing. Okay. My apologies if you see my fat behind. Oh. Like I said, this shirt is probably, I'm not going to, I have to take all these clothes off and change them because of being out here with the chickens and ducks because you really do not want to get salmonella oh, there you go all right now they're all in their new home well not their new home the old home but new floor now let's get their food now actually i did prepare this beforehand because i was messing with the other ones too so that's why i did that you up. I gotta wash my camera and everything off when I get back in the house. Like I said, you really don't want to mess around and try to get salmonella. 
Uh, there it is. That is all of them. Pretty little chickens. I do have some pre crunched up food in this feeder. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. Ducks are nowhere, I mean, chickens are nowhere near as bad as ducks with water. But yeah. Also, I do have some. I uh, forgot what the name of it is. I just I had to make it up because where we got our chickens, they were super dehydrated. I uh, had electrolytes and stuff in it to make them more hydrated. And then I have normal water too in case they don't want the electrolytes. Because where we got them from, they did uh, sort of uh, was dehydrated. We've never had a problem with that before. But for some reason, we did this time. Now, what you're going to do is with the old pine straw. I have some right here. There's some outside. I'll rake it up and I'll show you what I do with it. You could do something. You can do whatever you want to. You can burn it and do whatever. But yeah, I'll show you what I do with it. Uh, actually, all right, we are out of here. This is what I normally do with my pine straw. You could take it and put it around a plant or something if you have plants. But I do not have any right now. I have flowers, but I need to clean up around their beds. Um, and I don't like putting pine straw on them because of snakes. So back here and behind where the pine trees are, I just take this because the chickens come back here and scratch all the way around. And then I, this pine straw, the rain will wash it and then you can take that pine straw and use it again. Because pine straw is, I mean, it does take a little bit for pine straw to collect. So it is a good thing to do. Just take it like this. Take it out or just put it in a big old pile. And then come along later and somehow a piece of wood got in there. And then just come along later and either let it fall by itself, you can kick it a lot, kick it across, take it up, pick it up and shake it, shake it around, or take a rake and rake it all out. But that is normally what I do with it. Um, you can, like I said, you can just kick it, scatter it out. My shoes are going to have to be washed anyway. They're also going to have to be washed because that's why I wear Crocs. If you, uh, that's why I always wear Crocs and chicken pants because if you wear shoes, you're going to have to wash them because you're walking and duck and chicken crap but now rain will pack it out or the chickens will come along and scrape it all up and everything and yeah so now i gotta do one more thing today i gotta clean out the big chicken pen these guys pen i gotta do it real quick um so yeah let's go get started into that i gotta go find me a, a, the proper rake and yeah let's get jump right so this is the chicken pen all right here as you can probably see probably not because i am filming on a gopro because it's what i always use for him here's the chicken the baby pen quail pen and see there's like corn husks uh, asparagus pine straw and stuff in here we just gave that to them because it was um weren't bad but it weren't good either it was uh, but normally the chickens we made sure there was no rot on it because we always do that but uh it was just getting about getting too bad so i'm gonna clean it out real quick with a fan rake and yeah let's get it cleaned up i'm not gonna move that because that is where the chickens lay their eggs and i don't want to disturb the nest so yeah let's get straight into it so basically all i need to do is if you're wondering why this netting is up here is because we have a chicken pot hawk problem and yeah this netting is to stop chicken hawks and stuff taking my chickens and i think uh owls will also get no they are about the same as I don't know. They might get a hold of them too. But we've had chickens gone missing and yeah, so and chicken hawks and in the area. So yeah. And also we've had them disappear and only their head be here. So I decided to put this netting up. I don't even think y'all can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> no. Well yeah, you sort of can. This up here. That bag of stuff. We're gonna change that. That's another video coming up in the future. But, yeah, we have a small chicken problem, so, yeah. and then I got to put up another post because the post I have is rotten, so I have to get another one of those, so yeah, it's kind of fun. And all these twigs and stuff are just stuff that has fell into the pen over time. And I normally clean that about every two weeks so that it normally don't get too bad. Because of the netting, it don't get too bad, and I'll release chickens every day, so it's only night time they're in here, so it don't get too bad. But, I'm going to count asparagus, because I don't want to smell that rotten stuff in here. 
Get rotten in. So yeah, it's about time to clean it out. Okay, that's mostly that side. Now let's get this side. is because it's starting to dry rot and it's going to have to be replaced is why we're replacing it. So when that video comes out y'all see everything about how we put it up and everything. And yeah. But here it is. It's not going to be perfectly clean. You're not going to get it perfectly clean. It's almost impossible to do that. Here's everything that was in here. Some twigs and stuff. Because I do give them leaves off trees. I'll break off a branch or something. But we destroyed some trees that was in our way. Some bushes. And we just gave them the branches like that. And here's the quail. They're going to be fed. Because somehow water got in their pan. Goes too close to the side. I'm going to have to put it up here to the front. But here's the quail. White quail. All sorts of quail. There'll be videos about them. In the future, we're gonna have to rebuild this pen because, as you can see, it's starting to rot, and we're gonna have to rebuild it. Rebuild it with real wood, not trees. So yeah, that'll be a video in the future too. And putting this netting up will be a video in the future. We're gonna have to buy rope and stuff first. But yeah, that about does it, guys, for today's video. I hope you guys like this video. Please, if you did, please give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell beside you notified every day. At least. I release videos every three days, I think. I upload videos, skip two days. Another video, I think that's my upload schedule. It's been a while since I uploaded that video. A lot of them have been scheduled. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!